A welcome to the Celebration of Resilience Business Excellence Awards hosted by the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you for joining the line early because we do have a great pre-recorded session starting at uh, seven o'clock sharp where you're going to uh, see all of the uh, finalists and the recipients of each of the categories is going to be announced as well. Um, and it's a beautiful package that's been put together by our uh, digital media sponsor, uh, Flynn West Solutions, and uh, a shout out to Jamie Carson and his team there. Um, and also afterwards, stick around because we are going to give away prizes as well as give the recipients a chance to say a few words. Okay, so uh, we have a slightly uh, a live component as well as a pre-recorded component. The pre-recorded we're going to show on our screen, uh, but we are also going to share the link in the chat. So if you happen to have a TV that has access to YouTube or iPad where you can see it a little bigger, you have the option to uh, watch it uh, on that device, but stay in the Zoom yeah, you'll, uh, because uh, that's how we are all connected live. Um, and just because we have so many people, uh, we are not trying to be rude or disrespectful, but we have to keep you on mute so that we don't have any um, dogs barking in the background. And my family actually might be a culprit with that. Uh, so I have to watch my background noise. But if you would like to say anything, definitely, I think there's a way you can raise your hand in the bottom right-hand corner of Zoom. There's a raise hand function. Um, and if you um, want to say, you know, congratulations or anything like that, virtually, you know, when you're mute, this is, this is the signal for the, um, to, to clap or to say congratulations. Um, yes, perfect. So as I said, I, I, you may not have heard, we have 180 registered guests for tonight. Uh, so we're going to see more people pop on, but we wanted to at least get some of the housekeeping notes uh, in place. And I wanted to also give um, our presenting sponsor a chance to, to say a few words. I wanna bring on Dan Higgins, owner of the local Canadian Tire, who's been such a fabulous and fantastic supporter uh, for the community in so many different ways, in so many different initiatives and definitely for uh, the chamber and the awards uh, this year. So Dan, I'd like to welcome you to say a few words. Well, thank you very much, Ritu. I must say it's an honor for me actually to uh, be the presenting sponsor. And I just wanna take this time to specifically thank Ritu, Kaylin, uh, just all the chamber staff, Patricia, Bayala, like everybody, because you do such a wonderful job for all of us as chamber members. So let's, let's have a clap for all of the chamber staff. It's just awesome what you do. And I know to put this on tonight, has to be the most difficult thing somebody could imagine, far more difficult than a normal uh, event like this. So thank you very much on behalf of all of the chamber members. Thank you for those kind words, Dan. Uh, that's really so nice. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, Leila and Kaylin, a big kudos to them. Uh, you know, I always say we're, we're a tiny little chamber. We're a not-for-profit organization. There's just three of us. Uh, but I think we've been really able to do some big things this year. And you know, part of that is the support of, of, of you Pardon. all as members of the chamber too. And Join the meeting. So, uh, oh, we had a little announcement. Someone special is maybe joining. Uh, so great. I'd like to actually bring on Kaylin. Uh, she's going to also share some uh, housekeeping notes for uh, social media as well and things that you can uh, do and look out for. Hi everyone, it is so great to see everybody tonight. There's so many faces and so many people that we wish we could see in person. So we just want to thank everyone for attending tonight's special event. We also want to say that we really love hearing from our community and from all of our members. So tonight we'd love to hear from you. So we'd like to encourage you to share your feedback with the chamber using our Google review link. And you can let us know uh, what you think about this event and what you think about what the chamber's been doing in the community over the past year. So I'm gonna share that link in our chat right now. And I'd also like to encourage you, if you are sharing any of your celebrations online tonight, to use the hashtag SSWRChamber to make sure that the chamber will see it. And we'd love to be tagged in any of your selfies, your photos, or any of your celebrations from tonight's event. So I'll be sharing that as well in the chat here. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, 
What a difference, like, you know, to host an event like this. As you know, many of you have attended our Business Excellence Awards in the past. It's the marquee business event in the community. Uh, last year, we took over the entire uh, venue at Hazelmere and had over 300 people. Um, so it's, it's just, you know, such a unique and different way to do it virtually. But we're so excited that we have so many who are, who are going to be coming on tonight. Um, for the recipients, normally you'd get your award tonight, uh, a little trophy. So we're going to have get in touch with each of you afterwards uh, and and deliver it to you, uh, you know, on a special day when you're available and take some nice pictures. Um, and also uh, you'll have a certificate and a, a little um, uh, like a virtual button you can use on your website. And all of the finalists are also going to receive a, a certificate as well. Um, because really everyone who is uh, part of this event tonight uh, really deserves uh, a huge recognition. Uh, if you're a finalist, if you're a sponsor, a, a big thank you to the judges. That's been a really uh, wonderful experience the last couple of years. We, we've changed that around um, and uh, we just have heard really great feedback about that. So um, yeah, I just wanted to see if Patricia, we're, we're actually, I was nervous that we would run over in, in our welcoming remarks. If you have anything else you'd like to share, otherwise what we'll do is as well, um, share the YouTube link if it hasn't already in the chat. Um, if you wanna watch it there. And as I said, we are also going to be showing it on screen here. So you don't have to go anywhere, but it's just an option. Well, I just, you know, I could just continue to keep saying hello to everyone, but now the numbers are getting up higher. And we are, again, for those who are just getting on, expecting over 160 people to join us tonight. So we are super excited uh, to have such a great turnout for our event. And I also want to encourage, even though the hashtags and uh, for SSWR when you're doing this, but even just to support those who are being nominated, if you want to put in the chat, just, you know, say hello to different people, communicate to everyone that way. Um, that's always appreciated. And again, don't forget the, the virtual clapping and applause to uh, really warm up the room to, to say hello to everyone and give the cheer. So thanks again. Great, and, and you can also, um, you know, the comments are gonna get lost after the uh, Zoom is done. So definitely uh, add the comments there, but you can also add them to the YouTube, um, mm -hmm. YouTube page, because that's where they'll stay up as well. Because uh, the recording uh, is, is there now and it's gonna start premieres in two minutes. Uh, it's saying on, on the screen. And uh, so you can't actually, if you go onto our YouTube, uh, it, it's a premier live event, so it'll start at a particular time, but then it'll stay on there uh, as well. And you can't fast forward, so you can't go to your section and see <laughs> what there's no there no of no any particular category. So um, do you want to put the link for YouTube into the chat? So I want to also just give a shout out to our board of directors tonight. Thanks for being here and for all your uh, time that you put in and especially to the events committee that has helped Ritu, Leila and Kaylin put all this together. So all of your extra hours and dedication. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Patricia, for saying that. And we also have our elected representatives who took part in um, sending special messages and they're, who are here tonight as well. Um, I see uh, Mayor Daryl Walker, uh, MLA Hello. Stephanie Cadu. Um, I think we have a few more. I see I it, uh, Linda Linda Annis. Annis. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to go through all the titles now to see everybody. But yeah, we have four welcome. pages. Councillor Anthony Manning, hello. Wonderful. Okay, so we're at 6.59. Oh, we're getting um, close. Yeah. So if you want to, Liala, share your screen. Okay, three, two, one.
Hello and welcome everyone to our annual Business Excellence Award event, a celebration of resilience. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded traditional territory of the Semiamu First Nation. I am Patricia LaPena, board president, and it is my honor to be here tonight to share in the celebration and the recognition of our businesses in this community. There is not one business that has not been affected by this pandemic. We have had businesses that were able to pivot and thrive, ones that have had to continue to regroup with the ever-changing restrictions and those also that have had to dig deep and recreate to go forward. Tonight, we celebrate you all. On behalf of the Board of Directors and myself, I wanna say how proud we are to be in a community where we stand united to show compassion, extend a hand, or go above and beyond to make a difference, especially in these times. I want to remind everyone that the South Surrey White Rock Chamber of Commerce can be your business lifeline. We are here to support, to advocate, and to provide you valuable resources. If you have not had a chance to join us yet, we look forward to your business becoming a member in the future. At this time, I want to give a shout out to our Board of Directors. This volunteer army of colleagues have been instrumental in keeping the Chamber on track with our core values as an organization. However, the tasks at hand for tonight were made possible with the Events Committee, but ultimately by our talented staff at the Chamber, Executive Director Ritu Khanna with Leila Bonner and Kaylin Ball. Tonight, we set the stage to showcase several well-deserved businesses in various categories for their achievement in resilience. I now pass this over to our Executive Director, Ritu Khanna, for further introductions. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ritu Khanna, Executive Director of the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us for a very special virtual edition of the 22nd Annual Business Excellence Awards, which we are aptly calling the Celebration of Resilience. My message is one of gratitude, not just for this evening, but also for how our amazing and unique community has come together through the pandemic to support one another. Thank you to the frontline service workers in all sectors who we rely upon and often take for granted. It's the critical services that they provide that help our local economy and community continue to move ahead. Nurses, doctors, hospital staff, grocery store workers, teachers, early childcare providers, emergency care services like fire and police, sanitation, transportation services, and so much more. Thank you to our community partners and the Chamber Network. Our Chamber is an active member of the BC Chamber of Commerce and the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. This connects us to more than 450 chambers and boards of trades across the province in Canada. These aren't just numbers. It means that we can plug into a strong network locally and nationally to have a strong voice of advocacy for businesses while also providing greater benefits to our members. Thank you to the Chamber's Board of Directors, notably Patricia Le Pena, Board President, and the Chamber staff, Kaylin and Liala, for their time, commitment, and dedication. It felt like our role was more important than ever to help our local businesses through this unprecedented global pandemic. We hosted numerous COVID-19 community town halls, shared critical updates through all of our channels, organized collaborative efforts between businesses and organizations with the support local message, and we have created mo multiple opportunities for our members to share their stories, including a consistent and weekly chamber chat networking call that was initiated at the very start of the pandemic and continues till today. Thank you to the sponsors of this evening who were enthusiastic and signed on for the event to ensure we could continue the tradition of shining a light on business excellence and resilience, especially our title sponsor, Canadian Tire and Dan Higgins. Most especially, a huge thank you to you, the people that make up the business community in South Surrey and White Rock. Businesses are not just names that provide goods and services. It's the people behind those names 
You provide jobs. You are the backbone of our community. You have had to be innovative in your approach to ensure the health, safety, and sustainability of your businesses and for your staff and clients. You have shown such incredible innovation and resilience. The often used but true adage is one that exemplifies our community. Together, we truly are stronger. We honor all of you this evening. Please enjoy yourselves. Good evening. My name is Dan Higgins, owner of the Canadian Tire store located in the heart of South Surrey. I am very proud to be the presenting title sponsor for the Celebration of Resilience Business Excellent Awards this year. After more than a year of so many challenges in this pandemic, it's very important that we come together to celebrate the resiliency demonstrated by our business community. I'd like to thank the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber for bringing us together on the, for this special event. It's just awesome what the Chamber does in our community. It's, they just look after our business so well. This year with COVID, just the information to every business is just great and it really makes a huge impact. I'm sure many of you know Canadian Tire is an all-Canadian company with over 500 stores across Canada. What makes us unique than a lot of the large store or big box stores is that each one of those stores is owned by a local business person in the community. That's a person like myself that lives and looks after things in their own community. I've been with Canadian Tire for almost 49 years now. And in that time, I've been traveled across the country in numerous locations. And ultimately in the year 2000, was fortunate enough to land in this community and build the store that's there today. I have brought up my family and grown our business in this beautiful community. What makes it so special is the phenomenal support the community has given us as a new store when we opened in 2000. And for that, we certainly believe that we need to do whatever we can to help out the community and give back. I'm so very proud of all of my employees and having given the fact that we were considered an essential service, which I'm very fortunate to have been that, they certainly all rose to the occasion in working through some very difficult times to make sure that we could just bring forth the proper goods to people for getting through uh, the times when all the businesses were closed, schools were shut down and people were at home. So once again, I'd really like to thank the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber for bringing these awards to us tonight. It's just fabulous what they do. I'd like to thank Ritu, Patricia and all the team because they just do a fabulous job. And I must say, as a group of businesses in the community, we're so lucky to have them for the job they do. Now let's get on with the evening. Hello everyone, my name is Grace Cleveland and I'm thrilled to be here tonight on behalf of Cleveland Own LLP, the proud sponsor of the 2021 Small Business of the Year Award. Cleveland Own has been a member of the Chamber for as long as we've been providing legal services to White Rock and South Surrey, and that's over 27 years now. We are so grateful to the Chamber for all that it does for local businesses like ours, especially when times are tough as they've been during the COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight, we celebrate the businesses and the people behind them who not only weathered the storm, but who came out stronger than ever. So please join me in welcoming the following finalists in the category of Small Business of the Year. Five Corners Cafe, Golden Glory Martial Arts Academy, Holly's Poultry in Motion, Kin Tai Kitchen and Bar, Laura's Coffee Corner, Live Well Exercise Clinic, Tap Restaurant, Thrive Movement Studio. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steve Scott, and I'm the advertising manager of the Peace Arch News Community Newspaper. The Peace Arch News 
has been a voice of the community for over 40 years, as well as a proud sponsor of the Chamber's Business Excellence Awards. We are thrilled to honor the local businesses who are the foundation of our great community. The Peace Arch News believes in community partnerships, and we are very grateful for the support the local businesses and our highly engaged readership gives us. We believe in supporting local businesses and also value the strong relationship we've had over the years with the South Surrey White Rock Chamber. Thanks to all the businesses for all your hard work and making a difference within our community, especially during these very difficult times. The strength and resilience of our local businesses and the people of our community has been nothing short of outstanding, and we should all be very proud of ourselves. We at the Peace Arch News look forward to working with you and helping you build your business through our three highly valued platforms, print, digital, and social media. Without further ado, the finalists for Business of the Year Medium are Eternity Medical Manufacturer Inc., Flynn West Solutions Inc., Strong Foundations Learning Inc., White Rock ULOC Mini Storage. Hello, my name is Steve Dooley and I'm the Executive Director of SFU Surrey. Since 2002, SFU Surrey has been a major contributor to the social and economic growth and development in the region south of the Fraser River. You know, amidst the challenges and the strains of staying apart, it has been inspiring to see the resilience of the SFU Surrey community and how many of our students, faculty and staff continue to engage with the wider Surrey community and beyond during these difficult times. On behalf of SFU Surrey, I wish to thank the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber of Commerce for hosting this very important awards ceremony. SFU is proud to sponsor the Business of the Year large category. The finalists for this category in alphabetical order are Amica White Rock, Creative Kids Learning Centers, Peace Arts News, Splashes Wash Lodge. Good evening, my name is Leslie Nolan, COO of Starline Windows. Starline has been a leader in manufacturing commercial and residential windows and doors for over 50 years. Like many other businesses, COVID has provided us many challenges and many opportunities. Pandemic or not, our only focus is supplying our customers with quality, comfort and peace of mind. I would like to thank the Chamber for hosting this great event and supporting businesses in the community during these challenging and difficult times. Starline is proud to be a sponsor in the category of New Business of the Year. The finalists in this category are in alphabetical order. Delight Indian Bistro, Mainland Whiskey, Soma MD, The Base Coat Nails, and West Coast Center for Regenerative Medicine. My name is Daryl Walker. I'm the mayor of the city of White Rock, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Business Excellence Award. Now, before I begin, I want to recognize that we're on the unceded territories of the Samiamu First Nations and the broader territories of the Coast Salish people. Now, these awards are designed to recognize people who have gone above and beyond, and this year's topic is resiliency. And with COVID-19, 2020 and 2021 have been most difficult years. But those who have pivoted, have been resilient, and have been resourceful, have managed to be successful, and they've managed to come through this pandemic. And I congratulate you all for that. 
On our part, the City of White Rock has hired an Economic Development Officer. Last September, this person came into place, and their job, first job will be redoing the Economic Development Plan of the City of White Rock. This plan was last redone in 2009, over a decade ago. So it's well over time that this is done. As part of the process, we will be talking to businesses and residents in White Rock, and of course, South Surrey as well, so that we can find out what you think we can do to enhance business development in our community. With you on side, we can get there and we will get there. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the, the awards themselves. Of course, there will be some that are successful, and some maybe not so much. But from my perspective, you are all successful. You're all award winners and you deserve credit simply for surviving the pandemic, being able to, as I said earlier, pivot and make the change that's required to keep your business afloat during these difficult times. I wanna thank you, I wanna congratulate you, and I wanna say thank you for this opportunity. Hello, my name is Tony Baina, and I am the President and CEO of Park Retirement Living. We own and operate a portfolio of independent living retirement communities across the Lower Mainland of British Columbia, including Oceana Park, which is in Uptown White Rock. Uh, Oceana Park is an architecturally award-winning 23-story property uh, with 198 suites, all of which feature outstanding and spectacular ocean and mountain views. Our support for the arts community is evident throughout all of our buildings, which feature art from local artists, such as Vladislav Morrison, Chris McClure, Tony Only, Jack Shadwell, and others. Park also sponsors a number of local arts organizations, including the Sarah McLaughlin School of Music, the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra, Tea and Trumpets, the Semiamu Arts Society, the White Rock Players Theatre, Peninsula Productions, and the White Rock Concerts for the Pier. Oceana Park is proud to sponsor the Support of the Arts Business of the Year category for the South Surrey White Rock Chamber of Commerce. The finalists in alphabetical order are Attractive Distraction, Framing and Gallery, Creo Art Studio and Creo Kids, Surrey Youth Theatre Company, Expa School of Dance, and the recipient of this year's award is As dedicated members of the Semiamu Rotary Club, a very giving, very giving organization within the local community, we do look towards those people and organizations that require help in, in small ways. We recognize that this cannot be done alone and we are here to celebrate those businesses that demonstrate the same mission as Rotary, building a better community for all. My name is Dylan Watson, VP and District Manager for the West Fraser Valley District at Canadian Western Bank. I'm so happy to be here with all of you today at the Celebration of Business Resilience Excellence Awards. And I'd say resilience is such a fitting theme for the times that we find ourselves in today. The continued strength, spirit, and optimism of business owners inspires us every day at CWB to step up and support their growth and success. We know small and medium-sized businesses aren't just the engine of the Canadian economy, they also strengthen our communities and care for our people. And it's especially the people in essential and frontline roles who have shown so much determination through this challenging period. I can't thank them enough for their work, 
Let us continue to have each other's back and stay in this together. Better days are most definitely ahead. Thank you to the Chamber for being such a tremendous support here for businesses in Surrey. CWB is proud to co-sponsor the category of Community Builder Business of the Year. And the nominees are, in alphabetical order, LK Developments Limited, Everbean Cafe and Community, Landmark Premier Properties Limited, Oceana Park, Park Retirement Living, Ocean Promenade Hotel. And the recipient of the award this year is, I'm Stephanie Cadu, the MLA for Surrey South. I so appreciate the South Surrey White Rock Chamber of Commerce, both for their ongoing advocacy on behalf of the business community and for leading town halls for the community this year, which helped us as elected officials share information and stay connected with you. Hosting this virtual celebration of the Resilience Business Excellence Awards is a terrific way to recognize the success and achievements of the peninsula's local businesses. And it's always uplifting to see the stories of all the exceptional nominees. This year's winners have brought through a very difficult year their remarkable resilience, strength, and adaptability. To all the winners, congratulations. My name is Hazel. I'm the Director of Wellness for Amica White Rock. We are a senior living residence that opened in September 2019 COVID-19 has affected our industry in that we look after the health and well-being of those most affected by the virus. Throughout the pandemic, our team members worked hard to ensure that our residents continue to stay engaged and healthy within the walls of our building. We are honored and proud to serve the seniors in the White Rock and South Surrey area. Hi, I'm Kelly Besseling, Community Relations Director with Amica White Rock. Thank you so much for the Chamber for everything that you have done, especially in the last year, to support all of our businesses in South Surrey and White Rock. Amica is the proud sponsor for the category of Nonprofit Organization of the Year. The finalists for this category in alphabetical order are Friends of the Pier, Peace Arch Hospital Foundation, Reed, Surrey White Rock Society, and the Rotary Club of White Rock. And the recipient of the award this year is... On behalf of Surrey City Council, I am pleased to extend a warm welcome to the celebration of Resilience Business Excellence Awards. As we all know, this past year, has been a challenge for our local businesses, big and small. But the resilience of our community has demonstrated is a testament to what we can achieve when we work together and support one another. I want to especially acknowledge the South Surrey and White Rock Chamber of Commerce for helping businesses through the pandemic by hosting community town halls, sharing valuable updates, and creating opportunities for businesses to continue to connect. As BC heads into recovery, it will take all levels of government working together with our local business community to ensure the level of excellence we are all celebrating here tonight. And I look forward to being part of this important work. Congratulations to all of the nominees and award recipients whose work is being celebrated this evening. Thank you. I'm Grady Flynn, founder of Flynn West Solutions. We are proud to be the digital media sponsor for this year's celebration of the Resilience Business Excellence Awards. Flynn West handcrafts beautiful custom-made websites and the digital marketing assets that your company needs to drive success. I founded Flynn West when I realized there was a need for the industry of innovation combined with transparency. 
Over the years, we have progressed from our original offerings to becoming a one-stop shop for all your digital marketing needs. Founded on what I call the three solutions, innovation, education, and communication. Flynn West believes that your best is a one-time proposition, and we're constantly improving, resulting in ever-evolving benefit to our clients. We are proud to be located in White Rock and be a member of the White Rock Sousary Chamber of Commerce. When time allows, you can find our staff at our offices right above Maya's on the White Rock Beach, committed to having fun and working hard. Our team is culturally and intellectually diverse, which offers a wide range of development skills and design that allow us to create a beautiful website specifically to your company needs. We do not use templates, we do everything custom made and custom designed. Our team will not only meet your expectations, but will exceed them. Flynn West Solutions is your solution. Hello, my name is Alan Davis. I serve as President and Vice Chancellor at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. This has been a strange year. KPU stayed fully open, but virtual by pivoting to online learning and services and only essential face-to-face hands-on labs, studios, and shops. And we stayed safe with no transmission of COVID on any of our five campuses. This is all because of the resilience of our employees and of our students. Congratulations to the South Surrey White Rock Chamber also for pressing on regardless. KPU is proud to sponsor the category of Business Leader of the Year under 40. The finalists for the category are Jamie Carson, Flynn West Solutions, Inc. Ramandeep Dhaliwal, WR Mattress Gallery. Anna DeBella, Profix Accounting and Strategy. Wes Levesque, Sheila's Catering Company. Josiah Tam, Barik Kitchen and Wine Bar. Thank you and congratulations to all the nominees and finalists for the Resilience Business Excellence Awards. This year has been like no other and as we come through this pandemic, I wanna thank you for the support that you've given this community. Small business is often the heartbeat of every community in British Columbia. And the ways that you have stepped up individually has been like no other. As we come through this pandemic, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you personally. All the best. Good evening. My name's Andrew Jansen. My wife Charlene and I live in White Rock and we own Jansen Insurance, an independent professional insurance brokerage here in South Surrey. Jansen Insurance specializes in insuring independent businesses, homes and autos, and we have an awesome team to take care of our customers. We're known for providing expert advice and for treating our customers the way that we'd want to be treated. This year, Charlene and I are celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary, and next year I'll be celebrating 30 years of working as an insurance broker here in South Surrey. We, we love the Business Excellence Awards and we thank the Chamber for putting this on. We love honouring small businesses because we are a small independent business and that's what it's all about. We're proud to sponsor the category of Business Leader of the Year, Self-Owned. The nominees this year are, in alphabetical order, Elaine Chung of Hilarope, Faith Gibson of Mink Chocolates, Charlotte Martin of CNK Courtesy Cleaners, Michelle Partridge your confidence coach, and Adam Smith of Uptown Business Machines. Hi, I'm Carrie Lynn Finley, Member of Parliament for South Surrey White Rock. I am so pleased to say well done to all our amazing business owners who were nominated for the prestigious Celebration of Resilience Business Excellence Awards hosted by the South Surrey White Rock Chamber of Commerce, a great business supporting organization that I'm so proud to be a member of. And I was especially proud to be asked again this year 
to be one of the judges. Not easy to choose from among so many resilient, customer-focused entrepreneurs. Shop local, support local has been a big focus of mine through this pandemic. The community needs you and you need the community. It's really as simple as that. For those of you who went above and beyond, for us and for your employees, I salute you. Hi, my name is Ainsley Price. I'm a tax partner at PwC Surrey. PwC Surrey provides accounting assurance and tax services to businesses in the Fraser Valley. PwC Surrey is proud to be a continued sponsor of the South Surrey Business Excellence Awards, and in particular, the Business Person of the Year category. And this year's finalists in alphabetical order are as follows. Sandra Christensen, Creative Kids Learning Centers. Marlon Graziano, Kwantlen Polytechnic University. Shelley Grenier, Oceana Park. Leslie Nolan, Starline Windows LTD. Congratulations, everyone. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, wonderful. Congratulations. I, I was feeling a little choked up actually watching that just because, you know, we've really come to know so many of you on a personal level. Um, so for, absolutely for the recipients, but the finalists and everyone on the call, it, it's just so wonderful. Um, so what we're going to do is to keep this, uh, respect everyone's time, we're, we're going to give away some prizes right now, and, uh, and then we're going to call up uh, the recipients to also say a few words. So let's give away some prizes. If, if, Kaylin, if you want to pull up the, um, uh, we have a special wheel. So first we have 
uh, the chamber did a eat local campaign uh, when the circuit breaker was announced. We really wanted to encourage people to get out um, and on the patios or do takeout, um, whatever they could do to support our, our restaurants. And we had uh, a number of people participate and submit receipts and pictures. Uh, so we are giving away $50, five $50 gift cards. Uh, we'll do three right now and it will be, we'll get in touch with you and it will be a business of your choice that is a member of the Chamber of Commerce. So we'll be in touch. Okay, go ahead, Kelly. Need a drum roll, Denise. Awesome. Okay, we'll do uh, another one. Patty Patrice. Oh, congrats. Thank you, Patty. I, I, I know you submitted a number of different one, uh, submissions, so that's great. It's great to see you out there eating out. And one more. Leal, if you can make notes so <laughs> keep track of all the winners. Chad. <laughs> Chad always wins in our little giveaways. It's great. He has a lucky streak with the chamber. Okay, so why don't we bring up um, uh, some of our recipients. What we'll have to do, gosh, I wish we could hear all of you, but just with so many people on the line, we can't unmute you all. Um, but if we can call up um, Alistair and Aaron, are you guys still on the call? Let's see. Yes, yes, we see you. Avito, awesome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. It's so nice to see everybody tonight. We got uh, we got through the the worst of it for sure. The end is so near. Uh, we're super honored. Obviously, thank you very much for uh, for granting us this award tonight. Uh, yeah, like I I'm super thankful. I'm filled with nothing right now but humility and gratitude. And I mean mostly gratitude. But uh, first of all, to our incredible staff, what a what an amazing job that they've done for the last. Well, forever, but particularly the last 15 months here, because because uh, yeah, we, we never slowed down. We just kept on going. Every time there was something weird coming at us, you know, they they like we we'd have a curveball thrown at us, and the staff just would hit a home run every single time. So, you know, this award is uh, super meaningful to them, and and the other side of it of it is of, uh, of course our community as well, because without the community to support us. And, and all of our businesses in general, but uh, but in particular, the last 15 months, like you really, really, really learn the true meaning of uh, of it takes a village to to kind of keep your your business successful because because uh, yeah, without uh, our community support and the and the constant engagement uh, and just like the the cheering and the high fiving that we got uh, the whole time, it's been such a wild ride the last 15 months for sure. So I know that uh, everyone always says like. You know, the hospitality industry gets a bad rap, but I just got tired of listening to my own sob story. Like every time I'm like, no, everybody, everybody like, gets gets rubbed the wrong way by uh, by this pandemic. And you just kind of get back up off the mat, start throwing punches again and and just uh, kind of keep going. And uh, and so it is it is a true like business resilience awards. It's just that extra little bit more meaningful, right? That extra little bit extra seasoning on that one to make to make this year extra special. And so thank you, thank you so much to the South Surrey White Rock Chamber. We're we're truly, truly honored and thank you very much. And congratulations to all the other winners. Thank you, thank you so much for being awesome. So mwah, thank you guys. Awesome. And I don't think I said it uh, at the beginning, but of course that was Chef Alistair uh, Veen and his beautiful wife, Erin from Tap Restaurant, an award-winning uh, restaurant uh, in, in so many other ways as well. And uh, just talking to you the other day, Alistair, like I think that's one thing is just that positivity, right? And, and staying positive uh, is, is such a big part of being resilient. So congratulations, well-deserved. Yeah, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's, it's been a wild ride. We're so close to the end. We're so close. We're there. We're yeah, there. awesome. Thank you. Great. Okay. And now we'll bring up uh, Nella from Expo Dance Studio. She's in the middle of a dance class, but she made time to be part of it. And everything has been kept completely confidential. No one knew except for the staff, not even our board knew. So, uh, you know, we're glad that so many of you could join us tonight. So Nella, are you there? If we can uh, get her 
on screen and to say a few words as well. I am, can you hear me okay? Perfect. Yeah, okay, awesome. Um, welcome to my world. Uh, this is my world. Um, there's my dancers. <laughs> um, talk about uh, resiliency. Yeah, we, we can't quit, not for a second, that's for sure. So I just wanna say thank you so much. Uh, it's pretty exciting. It's really exciting to be sharing with, with, with my girls here and thanks to my daughter for <laughs> saving me so she can take over and I can be here. But thank you. It, it means the world. Um, the attendance is, is unbelievable. Uh, good luck to everyone. Everyone keep fighting. Um, like, like, like my friend said, um, it's, it's, we're so close. We're so close. We're almost there. So for me and the girls, thank you. Thank you. Much love. Um, don't worry, we've been training in our own safety bubble for over a year. So this is a very safe space. We're good. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Nella. And you know, uh, so she's for the supporter of Arts Business of the Year, Expo Dancery in South Surrey. And she was one of the businesses that uh, it was WorkSafe BC, I think, that used you as an actual example of how to run, a, you know, an indoor studio space. So um, you know, just uh, despite even the challenges, just uh, like so many of these businesses actually raising the bar and, and uh, showing how, how things are, are done for, for others as well. So congratulations. We did. we did. We fell apart at the start and, and figured it out really quickly. So thank you to WorkSafe BC and Fraser Health and everyone. The community has been unbelievable. It's all about the community. So thank you everyone so much. Thank you, Ritu. You're amazing. <laughs> No, no, no. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's get one more business and then we'll do some more prizes. I think uh, I saw Jesse and Chris from Everbean Cafe and Community, the Community Builder Business of the Year. Let's bring you up. Hello, everyone. Uh, <laughs> thank you to the Chamber of Commerce and all the fellow panelists for this award. We're so excited. We, we always <laughs> think of ourselves as the underdogs and just a three people team, right? So my first thing first, I have to thank my lovely husband here, Chris, for all of his support and our one very excellent coworker, Yu Zhang, because it's just the three of us. <laughs> and I think that I just can't believe that we won because of the other finalists in the category. <laughs> I feel like we might not be the builder of brand buildings or physical space, but we are happy that we can contribute in building relationships and spreading love in our community right where we live. So Chris, your turn. <laughs> well, I can say thank you guys. Um, it means a lot. You know, if you're in the neighborhood, give us a call for all of you guys that uh, use uh, Skip the Dishes or Uber. So we're going to... Deliver from Starbucks, try out Everbean. <laughs> and we can do even more for the community. Thank you all. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. And, you, you know, it, this is an interesting award because it's called the Community Builder Business of the Year. Uh, but it's not about, you know, actual building. It's about businesses that are, are really creating community in our, commu in our community. So that doesn't, uh, sorry about the rep repetition there. But the Rotary uh, Club of Semiamu came to the chamber and said, you know, we want to introduce this award um, as part of your Excellence Awards just a couple of years ago. And uh, this is, I think, only our third time that we're giving out an award. And really, you were up, uh, um, some, uh, uh, up against other really large uh, businesses who are also really well-deserving. But, you, you know, you're a team of three. You're an amazing cafe. Uh, you know, just on, on 16th. And uh, what's the name of that building that you're in right beside Amica? It's called Abbey Lane Health Center. Abbey Lane Health Center, yes. So um, anytime you guys are in and around that area, please, the parking, there's parking downstairs. Um, go up there and, and uh, you will not be disappointed in, in, and take things away for other people. Instead of um, you know, I, I never want to say don't go to a particular business because there's employees there, there's owners there, but, you know, we really want to support, um, especially the small business owners in our community. So uh, definitely check them out. And they just had a chamber chat as well, uh, where they really told their story. Um, so if you haven't had a chance, that's on our YouTube channel. Check that out as well. Okay, so let's do some more giveaways. Um, we have um, our, our board of directors has 
been very kind to donate uh, some giveaways and we have a huge wheel. So one thing uh, that we did this year was um, one of the things that we did, we didn't charge uh, to participate in the Business Excellence Awards. It's usually you know, an important revenue generator for us. As I said, we're a small not-for-profit, but what we wanted to do was direct people to purchase gift cards to our local businesses. So we forego uh, the fees. We sold over approximately 200 um, gift cards and we have more than $2,000 worth of uh, gift cards that are gonna be fed back to, the, to our local restaurants. So everyone that purchased a gift card got an entry uh, into the giveaways. And um, uh, we're, this is the wheel. So this is everyone's name uh, on there uh, that Kaylin has wonderfully put together. And uh, first we'll give away, uh, very generously donated by CARP, um, our gift cards from uh, Black Bond Books from Ramona Captain. So go ahead, uh, Kaylin. I don't think it, oh, there we are. It's not moving or is it just too big? Ron Martini, oh, that's wonderful from Starline Windows. Fantastic. Great, and we will give one more. Uh, they donated two. Perfect, I mean, can you guys all see? Maybe the animation doesn't come through here, but we'll spin again. You don't see it move, but I can hear it move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Winner is. Satman Gill, congratulations, wonderful. Great. Uh, and we'll do a couple more. Um, let's see, well, Linda Holmes, one of our board of directors from RBC Dominion Securities. Um, Linda, do you wanna actually t tell what your prize pack is while we do the, um, the, the wheel roll, I have to unmute you. Thank you. Um, so in support of the local businesses, what I chose to do was do five gift cards of $20 each to various businesses in the area, um, along with a power bank for your cell phone or laptop, two stainless steel straws and two touch tools, which are in evidence of the, or evidence or I don't know what the word it would be to help in today's environment and, and being more conscious of what you're touching and, and um, COVID friendly. So I'm not sure which one we're spinning for first, but um, there's five. Uh, uh, do you want to spin the wheel while Lin Linda's talking there, um, Kaylin? Yeah, we can hear it, but we can't see the spinning. It's spinning on my end. <laughs> sure. Might just be too many names. Jen Finley, congratulations. Great. And you had a second one too, right, Linda? We'll do one more. It's the same uh, prize pack. So three different gift, oh, sorry, five different gift cards of $20 for various um, businesses in the community plus the power bank, plus the straws, plus the touch tools. I hope um, everyone can use it and enjoy the uh, restaurants and or local businesses. I can see on my end, it's very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Souza, congratulations. Wonderful. From Manning Elliott. We're going through an audit right now, too. So that team is helping us out. <laughs> Be very patient with us. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so let's call up a few more recipients. Um, I saw Raman is there, Dolly Wall, uh, business leader of the year, under 40, uh, award sponsor. 
uh, KPU. Raman, if we can get you to come up and say a few words. Hi, everyone. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you uh, for obviously, uh, you know, making me a winner. But uh, congratulations to all the uh, nomination nominees as well for making it a finalist. I think it's a big deal. I actually didn't think I was gonna win, so I didn't even prepare something. But I just want to thank my entire team at WR Mattress. I've had a little bit of a rough year, so it's hard for me to say a few words. Uh -oh. But uh, my team has been great. My business partner Mark Negra, who Try to log in, but I don't know what happened. He couldn't. Um, they have been great. I haven't really been working much, but I have gotten back into work now. So without them, I wouldn't uh, be sitting at home or being with my family, dealing with some family issues. So they have been great. And uh, without them, I wouldn't uh, be here where I am today. So I want to personally thank my entire team at WR Mattress, because if I am a business leader under 40 today, it has a lot of it has to go to them. And uh, if you need a mattress, you know where to go. <laughs> I just want to say thank you once again. Congratulations, uh, Raman, and, and, and to all the finalists as well. And, um, you know, that's, I think, one thing that the pandemic and this whole notion of resilience has really uh, identified is all of you in the business community, you're not just dealing with your businesses and trying to take care of you know, making sure it works uh, and that your staff are okay. You have to make sure your family are okay. And, you know, there's other things happening in that regard, um, you know, de depending on uh, who you're taking care of or who's in your family. And uh, everyone's been affected by the pandemic as well as just yourself, right? So um, please make sure you're all taking care of yourself because it has been really stressful. And it's always, it's, it feels like for some sectors, it's been a stop and go and it's been, you know what's happening and now we're starting to see hopefully this opening up and I uh, hope you all are, are able to take a deep breath. Um, okay, let's keep going here. If we can bring up Sandra Christian, Creative Kids Learning Center's Business Leader of the Year Corporate. Sandra, let's bring you up. Um, hope you and your team are there. Sponsor PwC. Hi. 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 Thank you. I, I can't even say what an honor, what an absolute award. Um, thank you to the Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations to all the nominees and the finalists and what a great panel to sit amongst. I would like to fully acknowledge the childcare sector and as a whole recognize these essential front of the line workers, giving them the appreciation, the thanks and the respect that they deserve. Resilience is the word, resilient. There is no I in team, so this is not a Sandra Christian Award, this is a Creative Kids Award because without them it wouldn't be possible. Without our head office team, and I know they're on here today, and I just say thank you, and I honor you, and I appreciate you, and I am in awe of my team. Um, and to thank our facility managers who literally take care of their homes, as we call it, all eight of them and uh, our supervisors and all of our ECE educators for being there as uh, front of the line workers every day, all day, never shut down, taking care of people's babies, preschoolers, school age children, and being there. And really, you know, their health and safety at risk as well through this pandemic. So I honor my childcare sector and everybody involved. And uh, this word is, is for them and the team and everyone who represents Creative Kids. So thank you. I'm, I'm elated and I'm exhausted and I am proud and we are CK resilient. So thank you. Wonderful, congratulations, uh, Sandra. Um, and I'd like to also now bring up um, Nonprofit Organization of the Year, Peace Arch Hospital Foundation. Um, and we have here tonight, I know uh, a number of people representing the organization. Uh, Stephanie, I don't know if you're there or Janice. I'm here. Wonderful, yeah. Well, thank you so much to the chamber for this award. And I'm so grateful to be recognized alongside all of these wonderful fellow nominees and uh, certainly 
We couldn't do the work that we do without our fantastic staff at the foundation who have really had to switch up the way that they worked once the pandemic hit. I finally, fondly call it that we became the logistics and operations center for the hospital, fielding so many wonderful and generous donations from our community towards our healthcare workers. It was just incredible to see the support, everything from PEE to uniforms, from food from local restaurants to change room tape, trailers from the movie industry to all sorts of even <laughs> there were even donations of screwdrivers and chocolate I mean just donations just ran the gamut and it was an amazing time and a very stressful time obviously for all of our frontline healthcare workers who are the real her heroes in this pandemic they've come to work every day fearless but fearful to take care of our community when we needed their help the most. So thank you so much for this award. We are truly honored to receive it. And thank you to so many of you on the call tonight who, who donate and support your local hospital. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, con congratulations. And uh, you know, I just, I wanna clarify, you said thank you to the chamber and we host the event, we organize it. But this, all of these awards, they, they really come from your peers. Um, what we implemented uh, three years ago, that it's a panel of, of your peers. So the staff, the board of directors, uh, we're not part of the judging. And uh, really it's, um, it, it, it's, I feel like it, it's, it's from the community. So uh, a big congratulations. I serve on the board of directors um, of the Hospital Foundation. I'm always in awe of the amazing work that they do and give back to the community. They, they raise money, but the, the, the programs that they support, and they're really, a, uh, I think, a, a champion among foundations across the country of really how to make a healthy community. So we're, we're really lucky to have, and this hospital started from a small group of people who knew we needed these services in the community too. So the history of the hospital itself is so special. Wonderful, I, we have more prizes. We're going a little past eight o'clock. So we appreciate your patience. Um, and we have donations coming in of people who wanna uh, give stuff away as well. So we're, we're, com we're uh, gonna combine that with a few things. We have, uh, I think three more Eat Local winners, right? Eat Local contest winners. Uh, Kaylin, if you wanna bring that back up and we can, um, see who the winners are for that. And I know some of those people are here tonight. Just give me a moment. I still have the big wheel up here. And we just have the two Eat Local winners left. We've already drawn for three. Perfect. Thank you for that clarification. This is how Kaylin and Leila keep me on track. So I appreciate that. So while we're waiting for that, um, I don't know if Melanie and Steve from Mainland Whiskey, are you guys ready to to come up. I've been sending messages to everybody on the chat, but there's so many messages coming through <laughs> that I can't see you keep track of all the responses either. Hi, no, that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Melanie, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, mainland. I'm in a very, I'm in the echo chamber. I'm in the, I'm in the still room right now. So sorry if I'm echoing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for a new business of the year. Um, it's a total honor for us. Um, on behalf of my partner, Steve, we just want to thank the chamber, but also the community um, for this award. We have like so many people to give shout outs to um, our investors, um, the crew at Flynn West Solutions, um, our team, Billy, Brandy, Avery, Eric, everybody who works so hard. Um, just a shout out to all of our Whiskey Club members. Uh, we have Barrel Club members that have all just like kind of keeping us afloat during our first year in business and a tumultuous one at that. Um, anybody that came down for hand sanitizer, anybody who came to al allowed us to serve you uh, through the pandemic. Uh, we tried our best to keep everybody safe in the lounge or in the alley, <laughs> on the patio, wherever we uh, were allowed to at any given time. Um, for us, we've really seen the true colors of, of our community come through throughout the pandemic, whether it's in terms of buying local, um, staying positive, 
um, and respecting all the health orders, especially being in, um, in, in a business that's very much around socialization. The community has been amazing with respecting all of the social distancing and um, while they still made efforts to buy local, um, we're really proud to be a part of this community and uh, we hope we're around for a long time. We're really new. We opened about three months before the pandemic started. So this is, in terms of being open and being in business, the, this is kind of all we know at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just wanted to thank everybody for like pivoting with us this whole time and just, um, yeah, coming down and having a smile on your face, letting us serve you. It, it means a lot to us to be a part of this community. So, and thank you for organizing this event, Ritu and, and Layla and, and Kaylin. It's, you guys did a great job. This has been fun. Awesome. Yeah. Glad, glad to hear that word fun. We weren't sure. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> but we're known to put on fun events and we didn't know if the if this virtual event was going to be fun. So glad to hear it's that. It's not easy, but we, we got champagne. It's all good. <laughs> well, and, and you know, this award, so this was the new business of the year award uh, sponsored by Starline Windows and it's businesses that have been in operation for less than two years. So, um, you know, all the finalists who are in this entire award ceremony need to be acknowledged. But those businesses that started really like just prior to the pandemic or in some right in the midst of it, businesses don't just crop up. You know, there's so many years of planning and investment um, and organizing. So uh, really kudos to you, kudos to all of you. And um, one thing I'll just remind, like as we're going to be posting all of this on our social media, the recipients on our website. We're going to make it go live, I think, after, right after here or maybe tomorrow morning. Um, please take a moment and, and find out where these businesses are, Mainlands and uh, Campbell Heights. And, um, you know, take, like, go out of your way and, and really try to support them. Uh, we really encourage that. Um, Kaylin, do you have the wheel? Ready for us? This is for the remaining Eat Local contest. Ready? So there's less names because we're removing past winners <laughs> to give everyone a chance. Oh, yes, we can see that one. Kathy Fraser, congratulations, wonderful. Okay, next one. Coral, I don't want to say that last name incorrectly. Great, awesome. Okay. Uh, and why don't we um, pull up the big wheel? So we, we've given away all the, from the Eat Local campaign um, and I, we have, I think, about four more prizes still to give away there. Um, and then we'll call upon, um, I'm just sorry, I have lists that I'm just checking in. Uh, you know, we have Grady Flynn from Flynn West Solutions, Biz, uh, winner of the Business of the Year Medium, uh, sponsored by Peace Arch News. So why don't we give away one more? And then, uh, Grady, I hope you're on the call. I know we were exchanging messages. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Did I say what the prize is? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so uh, generously donated from Beth Kish of uh, our board of directors, a $100 uh, gift card, and it's going to be a mix of gift cards uh, from um, a number of our local chamber members. So Gordy, congratulations. And thank yes. you, Beth. Okay. okay. Are we doing another one here? Yes. Um, Patricia, why don't we give away one of yours right now? So exciting, so many prizes. For mm -hmm. sure. I am. Um... 
I, I just want to say that I bought, Carlos and I, my husband and I bought lots of those gift cards, but we're selfishly keeping them for ourselves. <laughs> so I wanted to go out and get something different. And I have a $100 gift certificate to Soma MD, one of our nominees tonight. And I thought that might be a, a nice gift for someone to go and get some TLC. Awesome. So the staff will get that out to you, Victoria, if you're here tonight. Okay, wonderful. And why don't we hold off on your last one? Um, and just let me see. Who do we still have on the I didn't hear from Grady if he's if he's on the line or not. Um, and do we have our friends from Amica? No, I think we have some people who've had to log off. So why don't we do the um, the final prize? I think that's it, right? Leila, do we have any more prizes? Um, Adi from Kintai has generously donated a $100 uh, gift card. If you, um, you have to try the Thai food there. It's amazing. Uh, so why don't we combine that? Um, Patricia with yours as kind of a nice big prize, your, your, uh, your combo prize already. Wow. That's huge. Before we do that, we do have Grady on the call if we want to. Oh, do good. Yes. Okay. Great. Why don't we bring Grady up? Perfect. Grady Flynn, uh, CEO of, business of Flynn West Solutions, business of the year. His team helped put this whole presentation together uh so big shout out to you guys uh yeah thank you so much thank you so much uh everybody can everybody see me hear me yes yeah good uh first off alistair if you're still there i'd like to make reservations for saturday night uh <laughs> <laughs> we love tap restaurant it's great uh, my wife and i go there quite often so it's, it's awesome but i just want to say thank you especially to uh you know my wife for helping me with this business and jamie here my business partner um, and uh, the rest of our staff at Flynn West Solutions. And it's just an honor to be able to be a part of this community and uh, to get to know everybody so well. Um, we work with a lot of businesses in, uh, in White Rock and South Surrey, and I got a feeling we'll be working with a lot more coming up. So um, to be a part of this and to be a part of the chamber has been such a great year. Um, it was all very unexpected uh, what was going on this year, but we did a lot of growth, um, both inside our company and in our personal lives. And uh, I'm just going to keep this short, but I just want to say thank you so much. It's such an honor to to be a winner of this Best Business Prize. And uh, again, thank you to you, you know, both my my office wife and my <laughs> housewife, um, you know, and, and the rest of my staff uh, for making this possible for me. And uh, Alistair, we'll see you at five o'clock Saturday night. <laughs> I'm glad we could be of service so people can make reservations. Can, yeah. can you bring uh, Jamie on screen for just, uh, yeah. like, uh, I mean, Jamie, we love you. And that just uh, how you were able to pull this whole thing together. Uh, and Anthony and Mike, we really appreciate it. Not a problem. We are happy to help. Awesome. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, we do have one of our winners, Faith Gibson, Business uh, Leader of the Year, self-owned of Mink Chocolates and uh, Lotus Petal Yoga and Spin Studio. I'm exchanging messages with her um, on text, I, and she watched it, uh, it sounds like, on uh, YouTube, but I don't think she's on the call. So if you are, uh, just flag yourself a congratulations to you. Um, and as I said, we'll be reaching out to all of our uh, recipients and you're going to get a beautiful uh, trophy and certificate to put in your, uh, where, well, wherever you like at your business place or at home. Um, and we'll take some nice pictures and we'll post that as well through this uh, late, probably later in the summer, but we'll get that all to you uh, in the next um, little while. So I think, do we have just one more prize then, right? I think that's it. Have we... Covered everything, ladies? I'm thinking we should separate it, though. Okay, we can do that. I think, uh, let's do, because we have another one of the Soma MD. Let's put it with uh, Kin Tai. Okay. So that's a $200 gift, uh, gift package 
So again, another $100 to Soma MD and graciously thank you Kin Thai for $100 worth of their fabulous Thai food. So we got the wheel to go, Kaylin. Let's see. Here we are, that's a fantastic prize. Here we go. And the drum roll is Alistair. Fabulous. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. And one more prize to go. This is the finale. Ritu. Yes. Uh, and we just have some uh, closing remarks after that. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to say this is a $200 gift certificate from Jose and Company. Uh, custom jewelry. I just think I put $100 in and so did Jose. So just wanting to say that this is going to be a nice gift for somebody to just go and buy something really nice for yourself. Um, and that's a part of, you know, self-care, self I think. Go ahead, Kaylin. Okay, here we go. The drum roll. The winner is Steve Scott. There you go. Nice. Congrats, Steve. Congratulations. Okay, well, um, I would like to invite up, uh, you know, just, well, first I want to say thank you to everyone for uh, coming out tonight uh, and supporting each other, uh, supporting the businesses. Um, I'd like to just bring up um, one more of my team, Leila Bonner. Um, just to say a few words and, and to talk about some of our upcoming uh, events as well. I'm kind of putting her on the spot, but um, Kaylin and Liala work so hard and I, I, I want you all to have a chance to see them and hear from them. Oh, Ritu, you're too sweet. My goodness. Well, hello, everyone. Congratulations to all of the winners. You are all so deserving, as are the finalists. You know, if we could give away awards to everyone, I'm sure somehow we would figure it out. But <laughs> congratulations to everyone who was put forward. And um, I'm so glad that we can all celebrate the resilience of the business community. Um, about Waxing Poetic, we have two major events coming up uh, within the next month. We have our uh, City of White Rock uh, State of the City Address with Mayor Daryl Walker, uh, which is coming up, I believe, on June the 14th or 15th. I'll have to check in my calendar. <laughs> um, I believe it's the 15th. June and 15th. Um, thank you, Ritu. Uh, it's something that um, we do do with uh, City of White Rock often, uh, and um, we're very excited to be doing it virtually this year. So we'll have more events, I'm sure, shared about that soon, and uh, we'll be able to have people register for that. Uh, we also have our annual general meeting happening on Thursday, June 24th this year. Uh, so we are accepting registrations for that as well, uh, as well as board nominations. Uh, any information you need about that particular event is going to be on uh, the events calendar on our website. So that is uh, sswrchamber.ca slash events. I'll put that in the chat for anyone who would like to register for either of these great events coming up. Not to mention, we also do have chamber chats, which is just something we've been doing on a weekly basis uh, throughout the pandemic. We've been able to feature so many amazing businesses and I'm sure we're gonna feature plenty more amazing businesses as well. So uh, if you're looking for a way to connect with the community and other businesses uh, in it, I definitely recommend you sign up for those. Um, I think that's all I have to say about our events, but also, uh, putting Ritu on the spot here, we have to give a shout out to our executive director as a team. It's a team effort for sure. All three of us are working, but it would not be the event it is without our wonderful executive director Ritu at the helm. So can everyone give her a virtual round of applause uh, for all her hard work as well, because um, she goes unrecognized sometimes, but we got to call her out. She is deserving of all of the virtual applause tonight. So uh, cheers to you, Ritu. Oh my gosh, yeah, thank you for embarrassing me and I will slip you some money afterwards. So <laughs> <laughs> that's very kind. But really, um, I, yeah, congratulations everyone. Patricia, I don't know if you wanna have some closing remarks and let's just all continue. I just wanna say, you know, continue to support one another. Uh, really think about the decisions that you're making, where you're spending your dollars um, and, you know, continue to follow the safety protocols. Let's not um, get, um, you know, too, 
I don't know what the word is uh, comfortable. We, we, we're still, you know, just uh, getting out of the pan global pandemic. Uh, so we still have to be careful. And, um, you know, I have said all along, um, every time these restrictions and protocols come in place, you know, health and safety, of course, is number one. We're in a pandemic, but it affects our businesses so extremely. Um, and we want them to survive and thrive and, and to continue to, to be able to grow. Like, these are people who, you know, you it's your passions, it's your dreams. And, uh, you know, we don't want any of that to be uh, quashed because of um, our own um, not being, you know, careful uh, or whatever have you. So, Anyways, I wanted to, to, to just share that. So Patricia, I don't know if you have any closing remarks or if anybody else wants to say anything. I do wanna say that this has been, a, it's just been a wonderful event to really celebrate all of you, the resilience of this community. I, when, we, when I started as board president last year, it was kind of the secret code was that we wanted to be the chamber of choice. But we are uh, a chamber of choice because of this community and we are uh, thriving in this community because of all the businesses of you. So uh, proud to be a Sosary White Rock Chamber uh, Board. I'm proud to work with my colleagues, the other board members that represent here tonight, and proud to be uh, really sidelined with Ritu, Leila, and Kaylin. So thank you for everyone's time and energy to really showcase all of us tonight. Awesome. And, I, you know, we're, we're, I feel like we're in a live telethon. I have a message here from uh, uh, Bill Brooks, who wants to give everyone who signed up here tonight a free pass to one of his upcoming live shows. Uh, so, uh, and, and, you know, though his shows, he's not even charging a lot and he's giving back to the arts community with those as well. Um, but we'll, what we'll do, what we always do is we follow up with an email um, to everyone who's registered for our event and we'll include a link. You probably won't see all of the live components, but um, the, the show itself, uh, the presentation is on our YouTube already. Um, you can share, we're gonna be posting on our social media uh, for all the recipients. You're welcome obviously to share that. And um, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. We'll be in touch with everyone. So good night. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone.